<gasps> no, with a difference between this size of it and this size of it is one of them is a clear kit. So this is the master grade Sazabi, the clear version. I got this last year from the Gunpla Expo online, ordered it online, and then it came and shipped to me like about a month or two later. And now it is, and now I'm finally getting to <laughs> building it because I'm just a lazy person. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen plenty of reviews about the regular Sazabi itself. It's just that none, there's not a lot of information, like not a lot of people have seen a regularly uh, a built, a, a completely built Sazabi clear kit. Man, that was a tongue twister. So like all kits, it comes with a manual and like all Verka kits, it comes with it's on decal. Let's start the count. You get one, two, three. Look at that. It's got its own shield. Seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. I don't think this is all gonna fit. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three. <laughs> I'm still going. Twenty-eight, thirty, and thirty-one. Thirty-one runners. Woo! It's gonna be a long build. After I'm done building this kit, which is probably gonna take me about a whole week because I'm a slow builder. You have to be fast. I'm your man. No, you're not. You're too slow. What? So we'll do a quick review and just you just have just gonna have to take my advice if it's a good kit or not. Without being a professional gunpla reviewer. Alright? Be right back. Boom! Son, I'm finally done. Took at least a month or something. But why? Not because I'm retarded or mentally challenged or anything crazy. It's just that I'm just lazy. But this is it. Pretty cool looking overall. This was a fun build and uh, definitely it's one of those Master Gate kits that you just have to build. You know, granted, it's got some flaws, mainly the posing and stuff. You know, it's very limited in my opinion. That's just me. But yeah, it's pretty good. So size comparison. This is the first half of the Shin Musha Gundam. I'm customizing them right now, but that's what it looks like compared to the Sazabi. Very tiny, yeah, maybe. Everybody wants to see what the Penelope looks like compared to the Sazabi. And that's what it looks like right there. Let me zoom out for a second here. Boom. So you can see they're almost the same size. Sazabi's, you know, just slightly taller than it. But if, if you flap the chicken head up, he's probably taller. But, you know, that's just cheating, right? So another size compressor we have here is the F90 right there. A tiny master grade kit. Let me zoom back in just a little bit. As you can see, he is a very small. He doesn't even hold a candle. <laughs> size wise compared to the Sazabi. Next next one we have here is the Vidar. As you can see he is a tiny kit compared to the Sazabi. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the size difference. It's nuts. Alright so this is the Barbatorus right here and he is falling off. Let me zoom out of this thing again. He is a very small kit compared to the Sazabi right there. I think I just uh, bumped my camera there. Woo! All right. So this is the uh, top-down angle view of the kit. Now, I don't want to bore you guys 
with another review of the Sazabi. This is just a quick video of me admiring it. There are other reviewers that you can watch I can go into more details about the kit but you know I just want to show off my mechanical clear because not a lot of people have seen this in person and I'm just giving you guys a good view of it. But I'm gonna uh, still try to attempt to give as much information as possible because you know content guys. So this kit comes with uh, two different uh, beam effect parts you can have it either long right there and short if you want to be modest if you just want to be a show-off oh it's the other way around sorry also you, what you can do with this too is you can attach them together to form like a double bladed double edged Lance thingamajig. I don't know what you call it. Just like the Sazabi though. Uh, you know, that's the, that looks pretty cool. Right, 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 right. The kit comes with two beam savers right there. So you can sword fight when you're bored out of your mind. Clear machine gun? Laser beam thingamajig? I don't know. But you know, my only gripe about this is that it didn't come with a solid inner frame, it's just all plastic. What the fuck? So, I, I mean, come on, come on. You could have made a little bit more effort and just made some solid parts in there to make it look cool. You get the giant shield right over here. Look at how massive that shield is. It would have looked very cool if the inner parts of the shield is kind of solid. This is just like the entire kit to show off the mechanical inner frame parts of it. But you know, they skipped out on it. Just personally for me, I would have liked to see a little bit more inner frame showing off on the shield. And uh, the same thing for the long beam rifle, oh, sorry, long beam rifle or a sniper gun right there. The problem also that I had, well, uh, since this already happened, I might as well talk about it, is the hands. I don't like these kind of hands. I'd rather have a fixed um, holding hand instead, like a high grade kit. Because these things are a pain to freaking put together, especially when you want it to hold on to something. I mean, it looks good right now. Now the hard part is now is trying to put this back in. You have to, because this thing flaps like that. It, you can lock it in right there and then you can pull that out. So what I've found to be easier for me to attach the rifle or whatever weapon that you have or you want to use for this kit. Yeah. <coughs> I almost choked on something. Let me go drink some water. This thing right here can be moved. You might as well keep it like that so that it's easier for it to go back in to the hand like that. Oh, also this came with a cock pit, but I don't know where it goes. The manual never really went over it. But yeah, it comes right there. You got the pilot in there. It doesn't go in there at all. I don't know what it is, but sure, it's there. Also, what I found out when I was reading the manual for this is you can, apparently you can put LEDs on the head. So as you can see, you can buy an LED attachment for this kit to make them light up. It says LED. Now, I don't speak Japanese, but I'm assuming LED also stands for LED in Japanese. So now I'm going to go over the transformation. So this part right here um, opens up. I just want to show you guys. Boom. Boom. Look at that. Is that classified as a transformation? I don't know. Shoot. But yeah. And this one comes off boom isn't that cool and this thing opens up boom look at that shizzle is it 
perfectly safe to say that I am easily amused by things. Um, the fuel tanks right here moves and flaps around, but it does come off pretty easy, so be careful with that. Boom, boom, look at that, look at that. The uh, back part right there flaps back. And Ford, why am I out of breath? Ah, why am I look like I'm praying? But um, I know it's hard, but I'm gonna try my best to show off some of these transformation that it's got. But apparently this thing flaps up or something. Well, but supposedly this thing is supposed to move up or down like that, but I wouldn't call that a transformation because it's barely moving. Maybe I built this wrong, but yeah, look at that now it's open let me zoom into that zoom in zoom in in there a-hole smiling not smiling that's one transformation that you can see from this kit i don't know how mecha guy comes through this to stuff this is a lot of freaking work but look it flaps up and down look at that isn't that crazy and not only that this pulls down if i don't break it boom wow but wait there's more look at this not only that transforms but this one comes down too unless i break it am i gonna break it first before it comes down boom bow look at that side skirt armor which is this thing here I think that's what it's called, the side skirt armor. Apparently, you can pull this down and show off a little bit of inner frame. Close. And now, it's open. Apparently, this part right here opens up like that. So now, we are on the legs here. This also transforms like that what nah i'm done i'm done i'm done being retarded but yeah it transforms right there flaps around up and you know up and down nothing crazy it doesn't go side by side to side just up and down also the back leg of the kit i think i put this wrong right here it's not supposed to be like that it's supposed to be like this right here it's supposed to be close right there I think I'm not really sure and then you're supposed to just open it I guess right so that's another transformation that you could have and the uh, and you can pull this back I don't know I you know I'm a noob okay this is this is hard <laughs> but apparently you can pull it up and then you can pull it back a little bit and then you can just pull these little boosters here just like in the manual right there yeah the freaking arm opens up like a butterfly this part right here it apparently goes like that and it does look at that i mean i probably put this wrong together but it does flare up like that right there if you I had to change the manual focus there but right there it transformed but I think I did this wrong I don't know what I'm doing wrong here because this was also the part where I had problems and putting the kit together but like I said it flares it flares open right there I hope you guys ain't dizzy because I'm moving the cameras a lot zooming in and stuff right there the head transforms and moves around like that it's pretty cool right the problem i have with this kit though is the there's not a lot of movement on the head you can't really look up you have to force it but you can look down that's as far as it goes when it comes to looking down right there but yeah i mean there's not a lot of movements on the head but it's got some transformation to it whoops <laughs> so Overall, this was a fun build for me. It was fairly enjoyable. Definitely looks very cool. The main selling point for this kit, at least, is the um, the inner frame that you can see because it's mechanical clear. Duh. <laughs> I don't know what other Gunpla term I could use that would 
make people buy this kit. Granted, this is not the regular master grade Sazabi. This is the mechanical clear kit. Between uh, you guys and me, I prefer the mechanical clear version. Just because I like mechanical clear kits. If I'm to rate this between 1 through 10 ninjas, I would say 10 pirates. All the uh, transforming parts are pretty cool. Some people would say that this was a uh, revolutionary um, step forward when it comes to the Gunpla engineering. I say I don't know what they're talking about because I am not a Gunpla scientist. I'm just basing it off of the cool factor and some transformation kits. With that said, I'm gonna go practice my B-roll and then I'm gonna read a couple of comments because I like doing that. All right, first comment here is from Jay Truong. Fun fact, you can mount other kits on it to ride like the Gusian or another Barbatos. I tried Sazabi, but it was too heavy for the Barbatos. You know what, now that you mentioned that, I'm probably going to try that too. I don't know, I have the core Gundam, I'll build that and maybe ride it like a pony. You know what I'm saying, do a custom on those two, make it look like a knight, I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Next question here is from Don Carlo. By the way, I'm reading comments from my Barbatos review. Uh, there's a lot of comments, I'm sorry, I can't read all of them. I'll read like baby five but i definitely replied to you guys' comments you know i like that that's the least i can do you know what for my pants thank you fans so for don carlo here he said i'm excited with this kit but disappointed with the colors compared with its first leaks well you know yeah well with the uh, barbara taurus it definitely the blue definitely looks more like you know kind of purplish uh, blue purplish color to it you know uh, with in my case I always paint my kits whenever I get the chance so that's not an issue for me um, I hopefully you get into painting if you're not already so you can fix that issue that you have with it but yeah build wise it's fun it's a it's a fun build definitely recommend buying it third comment here is from Jan John Morota this is from the Gumpla Just a Tip that I made a long time ago. It's about making your clear kits look uh, very shiny and more glassy looking. He said, is this safe to use to try and remove the fogginess from sanding colored clear parts? I bought some red and pink clear kits from P Bandai and want to be as safe as possible. I think it's safe. I can't even remember the name. The Sinanju clear kits that I have, uh, I used it on the, on I used the floor wax on it, and it's still pretty awesome looking. You know, no the plastic, the clear parts have not been damaged yet. Still looks very glossy. Definitely, I recommend using that, especially on uh, clear kits to make them look like glass. Fourth question is from the Barbatoris review again. This is from Boomer Physics. He said, we not even gonna talk about how funny this guy is. Good stuff, bro. Thank you. Personally, I chose to read your comments because I like compliments. You know, and I, and I appreciate that, okay? Um, I do not do this for a living. I just do this for fun. I definitely don't take this very seriously. I just want to talk about Gunpla. That's all I'm doing. And I appreciate you enjoying the content. I'm not a very good reviewer. It's a lot of work to do this, like those kinds of reviews that you see other YouTubers make. I definitely recommend visiting other YouTubers who does more in-depth reviews of the of the kits that I am talking about. And also, um, I just like to stick in the uh, review on the thumbnail so people will click on the video. You know, that's, sorry, clickbait, sue me, okay? But 
Thanks for that comment, Boomer Physics. I appreciate it. One last uh, comment here is from Nugget. Also from the Barbatoris review. Holy, when I see this, I think it's just a custom Gumpla. And now is a new best HG in my opinions. He probably meant opinion. Yeah, definitely the Barbatoris looks very cool i personally like the z's look xi kasi xi i don't know what kind of gundam that is even though i haven't built that kit um to me that's the best looking high grade kit but yeah barbara taurus is, is you know a, a, a close second for me i'll eventually custom that kit but not right now i'm still trying to finish my Samurai Gundam and then you know, I'll go from there. So That's it for me. Um Definitely leave more comments. So I have something to read. You know, I do appreciate the comments. I'm not much of a book reader I do like reading comments though, and uh, I like putting them on my videos Also, I'm gonna be going back to customizing Gunplas again. I think I've built enough kits to satisfy my um building crave and um yeah i'm gonna be painting again so what does that mean it's probably gonna be another long time for me before i upload another video but i do appreciate all the views so that's it for me subscribe if you like everybody stay safe and uh thank you for watching buy the skit if you get the chance definitely worth the money Bye.